yo what is up youtube today i'm gonna be showing you at least four to five things you need to implement into your daily pc checks if you don't use them already um but yeah i'm not gonna make it long let's just get into it all right so the first thing you guys are gonna need to know is the basics just like any like just stuff that you should know before you really get into the forensics so like for example in powershell we have services you're gonna take this command which is free in my discord by the way link in bio <laughs> just putting that out there um and then you're gonna open powershell as admin of course always open as admin and you're gonna paste the command all right and this will tell you basically what services they have on and off for example i have system main off diag track um these are normal these two are normal and pca so right there i would instantly fail a pc check as you guys can see we have pca off system main and diag track right there and they're all off so that's an instant fail in any 5m server uh that can really change depending on your game uh then we have registry i don't really i don't personally use any of these too much like maybe like Moy cash or i don't know i don't really use these but these are free in the discord as well and then finally of course system informer a lot of people know how to use this um i will show you one thing though when you go to download it you want to make sure that you download the canary version all right so you're gonna hit download and then it'll be canary builds and you're gonna want to download that one um just so the kernel mode debug actually works you'll still get the air but it'll actually work but we're going to move on to the second thing that you need to add to your PC checks. All right. So for the second thing you guys need to Im implement would definitely be nurse off programs. Uh, for this video, I don't want to make it too long. So I'm going to only use two examples. Uh, I have Windows prefetch view and USB D view. So we'll start with USB D view and we'll just open this up. And as you as you guys can see, like you you want to look towards the connected, and for the description, you want to make sure it says mass storage, or for this, uh, this is one of my USBs which is currently plugged in. Uh, it says F and G. Which if I go here, it's most likely not here, but in fact it is. I have a lot of drives. I don't know why. Don't ask. But. If this connected says no, you'd basically just ask them to plug it in. If they don't plug it in, then, I mean, obviously, you guys know what to do. Uh, if you guys want to get more specific, say the description is, like, something else and you just want to verify, you go to properties, which th this is just an extra step for, like, kids that want to be nerds. But you're going to open device hunt. Don't, don't mind my spelling. Wow. All right. Now, once you're in device hunt, you're going to want to hit USB vendor ID, which is what I just copied, VID underscore, and then this this four character, like, randomization. And we have PID OOEE. -E. So we're going to copy that, and we're going to paste it in device ID. And then you're just going to hit this. And uh, as you can see, the vendor details are PNY. And just to confirm that, PNY USB. So I would just search up PNY. USB and right here we have exactly what USB I have but that's basically just that part uh that's that the VID device huh that's just for nerds but next is Windows prefetch view you always want to like okay for 5m checking like I don't have any prefetch so this is a uh, L take here but you're always going to want to look for files that were executed before 5m because anything after 5m you done that you've made that so you don't want to check anything after the 5m especially if you're in a live check because you made those logs and you're just wasting your own time but let's get in to the third and biggest thing to check but it is more difficult just one but let's go before we get into the last one i want to let you guys know about storm ss the best screen share tool that i've personally ever used um it's very simple if you want to get into like checking or if you feel lazy one day um, but they have great detection results I'll show you guys a live example from one of my personal checks right here 
a lot of you guys know anti-echo and how it's external and loads through the phone. It's like, oh my god, loads through the phone. That doesn't matter with Storm SS. But without further ado, let's get into the third one. If you are interested in Storm, it'll be down in the description. I'll leave a link to it. But stop hauling. Let's get to the third one. All right, so the third thing that you're going to want to use is Eric Zimmerman tools. Uh, these are more towards like the forensic sides of PC checking. And actually this method specifically is within my tier two, which is why I will not show how to set it up or get these CSV files. But basically you download these Eric Zimmerman tools and you put in a command in your command prompt. And then you're going to download Timeline Explorer also from Eric Zimmerman. And you're basically just going to open it. Uh, most people get an error the first time telling them to download like a .NET file, which is, I mean, that's perfectly normal. So don't like get sketched about it or be like, why is it not working? Cause it most definitely is working. But, um, in here, you're basically just want to go through these CSV files. You know, the one that you're going to definitely want to go through is labeled in tier three, but for now we'll just go through all of these. So these are device containers. This basically is just like. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't, I've never really opened this, but it, it looks like it's just like audio devices or like devices plugged into your computer. If I were to assume, um, I just closed timeline explorer. I'm a noob. All right. And then we're going to open, mm, an unassociated file entries. If we go in here, um, you want to go in here and you want to scroll over to full path. And you'll see all of these EXEs. You'll see a lot of EXEs that are just like not associated with any, like, I don't know how to properly explain it. But like, for example, this client.exe, this is something that I was working on in my code. It's not associated with any like program, I guess you could say. Um, but yeah, that's just the basics of Amcache. There's a better description in the tier two discord server. But with all of that being said, this officially wraps up the video. I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys can learn a little something off of it. If you are interested in getting more into PC checking, you want detailed explanations and possibly even one on one teaching. You can check out the link in the description to my store PC inspect and we offer services like that, of course, to help you guys learn and just help the gaming community with cheaters. But Peace out, y'all.